this unit basic block will help you understand the understand and create the basic pattern sets the unit is planned to give you very clear step by step instruction to make the basic bodies it start with sizing details preparing the dress forms taking measurements and recording it properly it then moves on the importance of the balance lines some pattern basics like folding dots perfecting seam lines by truing notches and grain line and their importance adding seam allowance and hem allowance to the pattern and finally adding the labels to the pattern this is followed by step by step instruction to draft the basic pattern sheet which include basic bodies front basic bodies back basic skirt basic skirt back and basic sleeve next stitching and test fit is explained finally completing the pattern with proper truing adding cross marks seam allowances and hem allowances to the basic bodies is explained in the demonstration by end of this units students will be able to identify the landmarks of the farm name the uses of the farm apply the changes to draft up draft of the pattern prepare the farm and model with the appropriate marking and waste tape before taking measurements name the basic pattern parts and their relationships to the pattern making follow the exact instruction when drafting patterns this is the dress form this is available in various sizes and shapes what you are having is eight size these dress forms are made based on the size surveys and it represents the measurement and shape of majority of peoples it has center lines princess lines waist tape neck lines side seams here are center lines princess seams and it is available in full length half length and only waist level for lingeries it is pinnable and it has a collapsible shoulder it is pinnable so you can use the pins to mark you can use the straight pins to mark some point or series of pins in this by using the pin and satin tape you can decide your style lines and mark
so i made a neckline like this what are the designs you want you can make it as a style line and this from this you can take a measurement to make a basic draft patterns otherwise you can put fabric on top of it and you can make a draping pattern a small adhesive tapes can be used to make the style lines so we need not to pin it to make this so like that you can create your style lines and after that you can make a pattern in this and it has a collapsible shoulder so if you press both the shoulder together it will collapse so that it easy to put a garment inside so once you put the garment press again it will expand you can check the fitting some of the dress forms it has adjustable knobs so that you can adjust your waist chest and hip levels so it's easy to customize based on your customers now let's see some of the important landmarks in the dress forms landmarks are important to know the measurements how to take the measurements and the technical names let's see some of the important landmarks in the dress forms landmarks are the points in the dress form from which landmarks are designated points in the dress forms the neck and center front joint is called center front neck center front waist bust point shoulder at neck shoulder at arm hole side waist armpit arm hole screw arm hole plate if you make a horizontal line from arm hole screw mark on the arm hole and this point is called mid arm hole front from arm hole screw make a horizontal line and draw in the back arm hole this point is called mid arm hole back center back neck center back waist these all designated points called landmarks in the bodies drafting method require accurate measurements record your measurements in a measurement chart prepare the dress form before measuring always use good quality tools to measure center front and center back should be perpendicular to the flow then only you can make horizontal balance line perfectly for this you can use a thread with some weight at the bottom and keep it at the center back and make sure you are getting a straight line now it has a deviation so you have to adjust the height at the bottom in the of the dress form to make it correct use your thread with a weight at the bottom to check the perpendicular line make sure your upper bodies and lower bodies or center front line and center back line are in the straight line so once you make this then you can make your horizontal line and the dress form should be stable don't move next we have to make bust bridge for this you have to take a fabric muslin fabric it measures 1 and 1/2 inch 
into 26 inches. First fold in the middle, then fold together. So, make it 4 fold, fold in the middle first, then fold again so that the raw edges goes inside, then other side also fold to the middle, then close it. So, it will make 4 layer of muslin fabric, fold together and keep on the bust level. It should go at least 1 inches extra at the side seam. Pin at the bus level. do not press inside, do not press inside, it should come out, it should be straight, bus point to bus point, it should be straight. Then put a pin here. Then the side parallel to the floor should be on the bust level. Do not move like this or do not go out, go up, do not go down. Should be exactly on the bust level that is parallel to the floor. Do this other side also. Make sure this parallel to the flow and leave 1 inches from the side seam and trim the excess. and mark center front
this will give the thickness of foundation wear. Then check your waistband tape, your twill tape will be placed around the waist. Make sure it is in good condition, it is not damaged and it is parallel to the floor. If necessary, you can replace the tape if it is damaged. Now we have to mark the pin heads in the dress form before measuring. Put one at shoulder tip, one at 3 8 inches below the center front neck and mid arm hole front and mid arm hole back. Then one for arm hole depth, for this ear size 8 measure 3 4 inch below arm hole plate. It will vary from size to size. If it is one size up, increase one eighth. If it is ten sizes, then give seven eighth. If it is twelve, give one inch. Now we are going to make horizontal balance lines. I am going to make bust line. First measure your bust point from the floor level and mark. And same way measure from the floor and mark side seam measure from the floor and mark back and left side seam and left bust point. Then take a tape, This will make your bust line. So this is your horizontal balance line for front bodies. The same way we have to make horizontal balance line for waist and hip. Similar to the bust level, mark waist level. Waist is the narrowest part of the upper torso. Then measure the widest part of the, the widest part of the lower torso and mark hip and 3 inches from the waist level mark abdomen level. All the measurement should be parallel to the flow. Once you prepare the form and fixing the horizontal lines, we can start taking the measurements. Always use good quality tools to take the measurements. It's a good idea use the measurement charts. Record the measurement carefully. Take the measurement accurately because drafting method required very accurate measurements. 
circumference measurements has to be taken all around the body arc measurement is taken from center line from side seam first you take the circumference measurements then horizontal measurements then vertical measurements circumference measurements circumference measurements bust circumference measure on the bust line keep one finger inside should be parallel to the flow and record the measurement then waist measurement measure on waist with one finger inside and record the measurement then abdominal measurements place your tape exactly on the abdominal arc and mark the measurements hip measurement place the tape on hip level and record the measurement once you place circumference measurement then go for horizontal measurements across shoulder you can measure front and back front across shoulder measure from shoulder tip to center front neck across shoulder it's measure from shoulder tip to center front neck then across chest measure 1 inch above the midomal front then measure to center front parallel to the floor bust arc measure from side seam to center front parallel to the floor bust span measure bust point to bust point then divide into half otherwise measure bust point to center front waist arc measure side waist to center front waist then dot placement measure the princess seam to center front waist then abdominal arc measure side seam to center front on the abdominal line then hip arc measure side seam to center front on the hip level then back if you measure right side of the dress form back also you have to measure on the right side don't measure 
front right side and back left side right and left is whereas right and left this is the right side left side of front for back this is the right side both front this is the right side back this is the right side this is left front right front so i measured right side of the front so back i have to measure right side here don't measure other side back neck measure from center back neck to shoulder at neck on the curve line then across shoulder center back neck to shoulder at armhole or shoulder tip then across back measure center back to mid armhole back straight line then bust arc then back arc measure center back to side seam on the bust level waist arc measure center back waist to side waist on the waist line then dot placement measure center back waist to the princess seam here then abdominal arc center back to side seam on abdominal level hip arc measure center back to side seam at the hip level then hip depth measure waist to center back waist to hip level at center back then vertical measurement measure side length 3/4 down from the till side seam then shoulder length measure shoulder at neck to shoulder tip then side hip depth measure waist to hip line at side seam bust radius measure from bust point to the under bust from center front neck to waist perpendicular is your center front length measure center front neck to waist center front waist along the center front line full length measure shoulder at neck to waist parallel to the center front shoulder slope measure shoulder tip to center front waist along the bust line bust depth measure shoulder tip to bust point new strap measurement measure shoulder at neck to side waist then back center back length center back neck to center back waist in the back level full length back shoulder at neck to 
waist parallel to the center back. Strap measurement, shoulder tip to center back. New strap measurement from center back to side waist. Now we have to check the test fit. We made the bodies and skirt together. Then check dot placements are matching. Side seams are matching. Back dot placements both right and left. Side seams matching together and check the fitting. Check the horizontal balance line should match with dress form horizontal balance line and ease at arm hole should be E1 both the sides. Then across front ease, across back ease should be proper. That hip level everywhere from side, center back, center front should have a ease. Side seam of the skirt should match with the body. You should not go front or back. Then level of the bottom of the skirt should be parallel to the flow. There should not be any hiking. Then once all the fitting is coming perfectly, then you can go for the production pattern. If any alteration required, mark it and do the alteration in the pattern. Crease the line, make the cup, then cut the line. Fold the dot, then draw the straight line. of the pattern. And true if required, make a smooth line. Cut the waistline. Fold the center line, fold the bottom of the dot, make a straight line.
then cut the center front line by closing the dot.